And so they are. Number one, Gambling Royal, ridden by Charlie Swan. Two, Danny Harold, Simon McNeil. Number three, Leighton Tennant, Jamie Osborne. Four, Rollinson's Jules, Dean Gallagher. Five, Ferrers, Liam Gray and Bradley. Six, Parsons Green, John Cavanagh bidding for a double. Seven, Eshin Ness, Ben Dehan, also bidding for a double. Number eight, Catch Across, Martin Foster. Number nine, Sea Island, Jonathan Lower. And number ten, Otterburn House, Mark Dwyer at ten stone two, putting up one pound overweight. Now, out of the handicap, number 11, Elaret Knight, written by Michael Horrigan, claiming three. Number 12 is uh, Luke Harvey. Uh, that's a jockey change because Robbie Supple injured in an earlier fall. Number 13, Winnebuck, written by Denzel Meredith, claiming five. And the improving number 14, Young Hustler, written by David Bridgewater. Now, we say those horses are out of the handicap. What does that mean? Well, according to the conditions in this particular race, Errant Knight could have carried 9 7 11, West End at 9 10, Winnebuck 9 8, and Young Hustler 9 5, plus a six pound penalty. But in fact, all those horses, because of the conditions of this race, have to carry 10 stone. Ali Betch, Young Hustler is 7 to 2 favourite from 4 to 1. Otterburn House is steady on fours. Danny Harold and Escheness and Gambling Royal all 9 to 1 from 8. And Sea Island another, another 9 to 1 chance. West Ender is on 12s. Rowlandson's Jules 14 to 1 from 12 to 1. Also on the 14 to 1 spot is Cash the Cross and they go 16 to 1 bar. And just waiting for Cash the Cross to come in, that's it. They're lined up and they race away, and they've got uh, 18 fences to jump. And as they come down to the first of them, it's uh, Pharaoh's Lynn that's uh, up with the early pace, not a bad house on the outside. And West Ender can't live with this pace early on. Pharaoh's uh, Parsons Green on the outside of Danny Harrell, just off the pace, and then comes Eshin Ness and Leighton Talent, can front run, and Rollinson's Jules just behind these. And they come down towards the first fence, and as they come to it, it's Pharaoh's laying up and over safely. Oops, a daisy. There's a mistake there by one of those in the back. And it's Pharaoh's Leon with Otterburn House the outside, clear of Danny Harold in third. And then uh, Parsons Green over in fourth place. Ashen Ness just ahead of West Ender. Not normally this far down the field. Young Hustler is in behind him, this improving young chaser. And they come to this uh, third fence and the leaders skip over safely. One of the back markers is Aaron Knight. Winner Buck in pale colours and may have made a mistake early on, but they make their run into the home straight and come down towards fence number four. It's Pharaoh's Lane and Otterburn House who are doing the donkey work. About eight clear of Danny Harold in third. And then behind these uh, comes Young Hustler on the outside of Eshenness. And then Parsons Green and Leighton Talent, followed by West Ender come towards fence number five. Otter Birdhouse gains the day by about a couple of lengths now. Ferrens Lane rather went through the top of it, made a mistake. Danny Harold's in third place and uh, tucked away behind that one is Catch the Cross in four. Parsons Green, Leighton Talent out wide, followed by Gambling Royal and Eshin Ness. Otter Birdhouse comes to take that well. So the order as they come down towards fence number seven. It's Otterburn House by about uh, four lengths. It's Danny Howell in orange and Pharaoh's Lane on the right, the blue cap, and Parsons Green the outside, followed by Young Hustler. Didn't get very high at that, and Leighton Talent. And then comes Gambling Royal and Eshin Ness and West Ender. And after that one is Rodinson's Jewels. And then Winnebuck had more falls than Niagara. A gap of a couple of lengths end to Sea Island, and the back marker is Errant Knight. So they head away down towards the eighth, the water jump. Mark Wire having a more comfortable ride than he was on Uncle Ernie at this occasion. Cleared by a couple of lengths. Parsons Green on the outside of Danny Harrell, pressed second and third. Young Hustler creeping closer on the rails now. He is in fourth place. Leighton Talent out wide five. Gambling Royal and Charlie Swan in sixth place, and they take the eighth. No change there. Sea Island, Aaron Knight, and having been up there early on, Pharaoh's Lane has dropped out to the back. This is the tenth. Not a burn house, the leader. In a book, slightly awkward at it. Come down towards the next one. And it's Otter Burnhouse and uh, Danny Harold in the orange colours there in the air together. Young Hustler's in third place, and the others are bunching, and Pharaoh's Lane is the only one really not in contention. Head away towards fence number 11. Otter Burnhouse by about a neck to Danny Harold, and then Parsons Green and Young Hustler. Gambling Royal going well, and Rollinson's Jewels is uh, getting into contention. Then Winnebuck and Escher Ness, and West Ender and Leighton Talent not that far away. And 
and uh, there Winnebuck another mistake you can understand how very difficult to keep with him young Dylan Meredith doing a good job there I'd like say we've got one or two technical problems with the cameras out in the country but Otterburn House is the three to one favorite young hustler at nine to two Eschenes at nine to one with Danny Howard and Sea Island who's uh, yet to make its impression on the race Sea Island not blinkered today Otterburn House by length to Danny Harold and Young Hustler and on the outside in the grey jacket Parsons Green then Rowlandson's Jewels and Winnebuck nothing if not game and then uh, Gambling Royal and then Escher Ness and Sea Island and Aaron Knight and Leighton Talent behind these and a good leap there by Rowlandson's Jewels Dean Gallagher got a good jump out of that one but uh, Young Hustler in the blue and yellow colours is coming through on the inside and they make their way down towards the fifth from home and uh, over that one Otterburn House and Young Hustler from Rowlandson's Jewels. Otterburn House, Young Hustler, Rowlandson's Jewels. Just uh, one fence ahead. This is the fifth from home. Young Hustler leapt into the lead there. And what a mighty leap, too. And uh, off the back, West End are trying to get a bit closer, but they start the turn in. And the two well handicapped horses, that's uh, Young Hustler and Otterburn House, will now pull four to five clear of Rowlandson's Jewels and Parsons Green. And uh, Young Hustler, the leader, as they head for home now. Young Hustler and Otterburn House, four out this. Young Hustler, Otterburn House, clear by about four or five to Rowlandson's Jewels. And another untidy jump there by Winnebuck, and they've got three to jump. And it's Young Hustler in the lead, clear by about four to Otterburn House in second place. Fairyland has been pulled up. And it's Young Hustler popped over that Otterburn House. Leighton Talent pressing Rowlandson's Jewels uh, for places, but they just got two to jump. And Young Hustler storming six to eight clear of Otterburn House. At the rear of the field, Sea Island a fall at two out, and Young Hustler over safely. Otterburn House in second, and Rowlandson's Jewels and Leighton Talent followed through. Then by uh, Errant Knight, who's staying on nicely. One more to jump in the Great Yorkshire Chase for Young Hustler out of the handicap, but they got one to jump coming to it. He's over safely enough. Otterburn House over in second, and they're well clear of the third. And it's Young Hustler and David Bridgewater, his 21st. Win of the season, Young Hustler is going to take it. There was a faller at the last, which was Aaron Knight, but at the line, it's Young Hustler, the winner, from Otterburn House in second, and Rollinson's Jules is in third place, and behind these uh, came Leighton Talent, just ahead of Escher Ness and Parsons Green, and West Ender, who never got into the race, and Winner Buck put in a clear round. That's an achievement for him, and the gambling Royal was a disappointing last to finish the top weight, and so the result of this, the Great Yorkshire Chase, it's a win for number 14, Young Hustler, the 92 winner in the colours of blue and yellow, Mr. G. McMahon, in, in, trained by Nigel Christen Davis, ridden by David Bridgewater, always had a tidy ride round, just popped him over the last, needs my binoculars to see where the others are, and as they run up to the line, this horse well clear of Otterburn House, marked wise, pound overweight, and not a jot difference, and the third horse home was Rowlandson's Jewels, who always runs good races here, and at Sandown. But young Hustler, certainly at the right end of the handicap, and probably go on to win more. Number 14, Young Hustler, 92. Second, number 10, Otterburn House, 3 to 1 favourite. And third, number 4, Rowlandson's Jewels, returned at 14 to 1. The tote paid 4.90 for the win. The place is 2.60, 1.90, and £3.50. The dual forecast came to 8.40 and 40.